It's quite a sight to see along parts of the Wolf River right now. Angela Kelly joins us from Shawano Dam to show us what's happening. Hi, Ange. Good morning, everybody. Take a look at this. We've just netted a sturgeon uh, that's been spawning here by the Shano Dam. Uh, it all just started this morning. Uh, in fact, if you take a look behind me, you might be able to catch a glimpse of fins sticking out of the water. Uh, this is Ron Brook, a uh, DNR sturgeon biologist. Good morning to you. Good morning, Angela. So literally, the spawning just started here at the Shano Dam this morning. Right. If we were here last night and there was no spawning going on, and this morning it started, so this is literally the very beginning of the run here at Shano for 2010. For people who aren't familiar with what this is, uh, what's happening here? Well, this, this is the sturgeon's annual ritual, the ancestral spawning grounds here on the Wolf River. Uh, these fish come from all the way from Lake Winnebago, and uh, the females spawn every three to five years, the males every other year, and these are very old fish. Some of these fish here are over 100 years old here today, and they've been coming back here for many, many years to lay their eggs and start the whole cycle all over again. There are uh, several places to see the sturgeon spawning right now, but this place in particular uh, has a lot of history. They've been coming here almost the longest to spawn. Right. This, even before the dam was built, this was the ancestral spawning grounds for sturgeon of the Winnebago system that come out of Lake Winnebago, and the most important spawning site on the whole river system, and it's a natural site. We have about 50 or 60 different spawning sites, and most of them are man-made. This is one of the best natural sites we have on the river. How did the weather affect this year's spawning run? Well, we had an early spring, and it was warm, so warm in March, and that really moved things along. So we're about a week to 10 days ahead of, ahead of normal right now. Mm -hmm. And I know uh, you and your, your crew of other DNR members are hard at work. What will you be doing during this spawning time? Well, this, when the fish are spawning like this, as you can see, they're, in, they're very vulnerable for us for capture. So we try to get our hands on as many fish as possible to measure them, check the sex, and put a tag in them. And it's part of our population studies that we use to set the harvest caps for the spear harvest next season, next, next uh, February. All right, wonderful. We are going to be uh, here throughout the morning and bring you some more reports here from the Shano Dam where the sturgeon are spawning. <laughs> Back to you guys.